What is up Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel and the latest trout fishing challenge where today I'm going to be only fishing with garlic baits and garlic scents. And garlic is one of the best trout fishing scents and baits out there. It just flat out catches trout, especially as the water's starting to warm up in the early springtime and in the summer. So today it's a garlic only challenge to see out on the lake today how many trout we can catch only fishing with garlic. So stay tuned guys and let's get on with the trout fishing challenge. Challenge. All right, guys, well, we made it to the lake. It is, uh, after a little bit of a rainstorm, a very gorgeous and beautiful day out. And looks like in the spot that we're going to fish today, somebody left a couple of rod holders here. Oh, my. Well, we're going to put these to the side because we brought our own today. Somebody forgot to take their stuff. Okay. But today we actually brought the recycled rod holders with the PVC today to actually get some fishing in. So we're gonna set these up and uh, get to some plunking and fish with garlic. I'm excited for this challenge today. There we go. First one's in. There we go. Rod set up. All right, so we're fishing garlic today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw a garlic power egg on one setup. And then on the other one, I think we're gonna go with power bait. Just all garlic today. That is going to be the challenge. See with this warmer weather if the trout are going to be bitey on the garlic. So it's going to be fun. Let's first cast out. There we go. Perfect. First rod in. Alrighty, second rod. Not sure. I got so many power baits to choose from this morning to fish with. My goodness. I got. You know what? We're going to the tried and true staple. Chartreuse and garlic. That's what we're going to start out with today. This water looks pretty clear, but no, there's been some rain coming in, so it looks a little bit dinky. And so we're going to start out with chartreuse to start and see where that leads us. So put this backpack over here. Start with this. This stuff's going to be the magic touch. Garlic is such a great power bait scent because in warm days, the trout absolutely love to go nuts for it. And it just is stinky, and the trout can just smell it from a long way. And on the warm days, when the weather warms up, it becomes more poignant. A little cast out here, see where everybody else is at, and then we're gonna chuck her out. It's not as far as I'd hoped, but we gotta start somewhere, right? All right, now we're fishing. Well, we had a small, tiny little nibble, guys, on this rod. Either that or was the wind. I don't know. It felt like it looked like a little nibble. Interesting. Let's see one little reel real quick. It'd be nice to get our first fish real quick. I think, is that it? He's not there. I think we just had one just nibbling at the bait. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, there it is? That is a fish. No way. Guys, fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, that is a fish. Oh, I'm hung up. Oh, I'm hung up. I think I'm hung up in the grass. Is that a fish? I think it is. The way that he's tugging? No way. First one of the day? No. Nope, just some grass. <laughs> just a little bite on the chartreuse power bait. That was weird. It's like a weird little bite where I thought there was a fish there. Maybe he got hung up, but it was so subtle. The bite was at least, but it's a good sign of the chartreuse is working. So let's put some more chartreuse power bait on and see where that goes. I haven't seen anybody else catch one since I got here. There's a lot of people out at the park today. What might be the trick? So cast number two out here. There we go, right there in that little slot. Just put it right in the rod holder. Get her back fishing. Try this again. Well, chartreuse got a couple hits, so that's uh, at least a good sign. More big, more big bites though, so there's got to be the smaller fish. So I think we'll go smaller bait ish since these are smaller fish. So it's a ow, just stuck myself. Oh, now I'm bleeding. Cool. Uh, well, got all kinds of shenanigans on today. I'm seeing some taps on this one. Maybe we get one. Oh, there's a fish. I think that was one. We got a double going on here? What's going on? We got two multiple fish. I have no idea what's going on. There's one. There's a fish on. Fish on, guys. Fish on. There we go. 
think we got a double. I'm going to be in so much trouble. I think we got a double on. There we go. First fish of the day. It's fighting hard. It's coming in. And they finally started to bite a little bit. There we go. Oh, nice little stalker. There we go. There we go. Get him in here. I mean, first fish of the day. We can net him. There we go. A little guy. Oh, he spit the hook. No! He spit the hook. Freaking hilarious. How did that happen? All right. Well, miss bite number four. Can we see if there's still one here on this one? I think that's on. Oh, that's a good one. Fish on, guys. All right, see if we can get this one in. <laughs> Going one for five today. That one, I was just trying to get him into the bank, try to get a nice uh, nice net job. This one's, uh, this one's giving a little bit of a tug. I've not seen him yet in the water. Where is he at? There he goes. Nice little stalker. See if we can uh, get him in the net. And whoop. Oh, he even flew right into the net. There we go. Took us a little while, but we got fish numero uno. Nice little guy. Let's get the hook out of him. We can get a better look at him. Right in the lip. That's where you want it, right there. Nice little guy. Yeah, nice little stalker. Put this guy back in. Let somebody else catch him. There you go. Woo! Zoom, zoom, bye-bye. Keep fishing the garlic bait here and see if we can't get another bite. Getting the double there. Lost one at the bank and then got the second one hooked in, so I think that's a good sign. And some days it's just that afternoon bite. Some days it, that's all it takes is just that afternoon. Just give it a little bit of time, let the water warm up just a bit, and that's all it takes with the garlic. Just a degree of water temp change up is all that it takes. <music> Got a nibbler. Might be another school coming through, honestly. Might be another school coming through. I'm wondering if that's a school. I think that's a fish. There we go. Back off my reel a little bit. There we go. Trout number two. He's looking good in there. Nice little guy. Nice, nice bite. All right, let's put him back. There he goes off. Boom, boom. There we go. So there's a second one on the garlic. That's, uh, the afternoon bite is picking up. We had a double, and then we just got a rando here. I think that what's happening is that there's some schools kind of coming around every once in a while, and just if you got the bait in the right spot in the right time, it's going to produce the bite. And I think that's those last two fish that I got in is just exactly that. It's right spot, right time, and a bunch of them, and it's just producing the right bite. Again, the chartreuse today, I mean, the sun's popping in and out, so when it's a little bit overcast, this bait's going to show up a little bit better. And then with the sun coming out pretty good that little draw fade cast that i've got out there just like in golf you got to have your fades and your draws and that was a little bit of a draw for me well outdoor mavericks quite a day of trout fishing with the weather just being completely different it seemed like every five minutes it was gonna rain it was going to be sunny, it was going to be windy, it was going to be cloudy, it was going to be a combination of all four, like just a, a crazy day of fishing today. But I would say got a lot of finicky bites today out there. We were able to get two in the net. We had one that was right there that I just missed that would have been a third, and then the bite just completely shut off. Fish probably went deep, stopped uh, eating, and that was a wrap on that. So, but I would have to say overall, a really fun day of fishing. And, and this is not gonna be the last garlic challenge. I guarantee you guys, we're gonna have a lot more trout fishing challenges to come. And I know garlic works in a lot of different areas, especially in the high mountains, little ponds, and a bunch of other areas. So we're gonna uh, take garlic on the road, do some fun challenges, maybe do some one color garlic challenges and see if we can't catch some trout. But had a fun day, got some trout in the net. And hey, any day you can get out trout fishing, you should never be able to complain, no matter whether you hooked a 20 of them or whether you only get a couple of bites and a couple in the net. So thank you guys for watching today's episode. Smash the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, you guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.